uh, here at the welcome screen uh, you can read this information uh, go ahead and select next to continue the installation process you will need to review the license agreement just to ensure that you wish to go ahead and use this because uh, they will not be held responsible on a free version as to what this may do to your computer uh, once again you do not receive support for this program so once you review the uh, license agreement uh, select accept and here it's notifying this is a free edition uh, intended for personal use only uh, it cannot be used in a uh, commercial uh, environment and I'm going to go ahead and select accept I'm going to go ahead and uh, once again select the standard installation and then select next uh, under username I'm just going to input uh, uh, test uh, you can input your your own username and select next here it's uh, allowing you to review the information to make sure that you did not uh, need to change your destination folder uh, I'm going to go ahead and select finish okay the installation is uh, complete I'm gonna go ahead and select OK and it'll notify that you have uh, completed the install of the program uh, of course here uh, you see a warning that the internal virus database is out of date let's see here we're going to go ahead and complete the process by selecting next and here on the next screen you can check for updates I'm gonna go ahead and allow it to do that and I'm going to tell it to check the internet and there is a priority data, uh, database update I'm going to go ahead and select update and we see the download uh, database coming in now update was successfully finished I'm going to go ahead and select OK if you do not select OK you can see that it has a countdown monitor and uh, we'll select that for you and now that we've checked for updates I'm going to go ahead and select next and here you can create a, a rescue disk uh, uh, your rescue disk contains all the files necessary to run AVG SOS application uh, for your computer uh, if your uh, system areas should become infected in case of uh, infection or virus damage to these areas the rescue disk will be used to restore the affected areas the rescue disk is also critical for removing certain viruses from your system of course I do strongly recommend you uh, create one of these I'm going to go ahead and uh, bypass this option uh, if you uh, do use this uh, you will either need a floppy or a writable uh, CD drive to complete this action. I'm going to go ahead and select next now. And of course it wants to uh, scan your computer as well as all the files on your hard drive. We're going to go ahead and have it scan the computer now that it is updated. And I will pause this screen while the uh, scan completes okay the scan finally completed it took approximately uh, 30 minutes for the scan to complete uh, you can see your results in the uh, result window um, as well you can select details to see uh, more of your uh, uh, details about the scan and it shows OK so we can go ahead and close that window now alright now we're back to our uh, free registration so go ahead and uh, 
uh, select uh, uh, next and your computer is protected so select continue alright this is the main interface and let me go ahead and uh, close this and show you how to access it again uh, once you uh, restart your computer uh, either you can use the uh, AVG free icon on your desktop or you can uh, right click the little yellow black green and red icon in your sys tray and uh, select launch AVG control center and here we have uh, several options uh, we can uh, view uh, the update manager and of course next update check schedule on 7-20-2006 it will do it uh, approximately every five days and go ahead and uh, install any automatic updates for you in your window as well there, there's a scheduler system here and of course you can uh, uh, schedule automatic uh, uh, scans to run uh, when you want uh, let's, so, let's see here we'll go ahead and uh, close this and as well on the main interface there's a check for updates button in case you're unsure if your uh, program is up to date um, I have the scheduler highlighted and I'm going to go uh, schedule task and here's a test uh, plan the uh, uh, few uh, schedule tasks if they in input uh, the update plan if you want to do a new schedule you can uh, create your own schedule and it'll uh, tell you that you're doing so and select OK or if you want to uh, simply edit a schedule you can periodically uh, start scheduled antivirus tests uh, start daily uh, this is uh, I believe uh, military time so uh, uh, do uh, be sure to go ahead and select a time that your computer will be on uh, here is a uh, option that if your computer is not on if missed start immediately when computer starts up you can go ahead and select uh, that option and select OK on the uh, email scanner you can highlight the email scanner and select properties to review all of your your uh, plugins of course it installed Outlook because I use Outlook extensions and select OK once you've reviewed it the AVG Resident Shield uh, actually is the program that keeps viruses from coming into your computer while the AVG is active you can select properties once you highlight that okay you can select all files to scan uh, uh, that is recommended uh, scan infectable files this will uh, put less pressure on your computer whenever it's scanning uh, you can scan floppy drives and we'll let's v review the advanced settings scan all files is by default now so the uh, advanced settings are, are disabled because I have told it to already scan all files so now that your uh, antivirus is installed you have scanned your computer uh, I would uh, recommend uh, that if you schedule your your uh, computer antivirus scan to have it scan at least once a week that's typically uh, what most uh, people recommend in most companies as well okay that concludes our video over adware and virus software uh, we'll go ahead and see you in the next video.